Hey everybody, and um, welcome back to a brand new video. So, I've been around on the platform for quite a while. I've seen so many lists of people's top 10 favorite water Pokemon, or top 10 regions, and it's making me feel, instead of just making a list of my top 10 favorite Pokemon, why don't I just give my opinion on that Pokemon, or the certain types of Pokemon? So this is going to be a new series where we start up and we just go and list off my own opinions on a certain category of the Pokemon games. So today's episode is all about my opinion on every single legendary Pokemon. Like I feel why should I put them all in a list and say which is my favourite when I can just give you guys my opinion. Now don't expect them to be fully in depth of why I like these Pokemon. If I say they're good, they're good. If they say they're bad, I just don't like that Pokemon. It's opinion, but... Hey, you get the gist of it. If you guys would like to see more videos on this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get cracking on with the video. So we will be going from region to region. Starting off the list, we have Articuno. Articuno is a cool Pokemon, probably one of the best of the three, just because the blue design on it looks pretty nice, and its shiny is a little bit better than its normal form. Zapdos, kind of like it. I mean, it could have been better. Kind of looks like flying chicken. I'm pretty sure we all find that funny. Moltres, it's all right. Its shiny is kind of bad. I would really wish they would have made it more of a phoenix. I mean, they tried, but they could have made it a little bit better, I guess. Mewtwo's pretty badass. One of my favorite legendaries. Definitely badass. Entei, kind of all right. I didn't enjoy the third movie really that much. Could have had more of a better role, I guess. Hey, he's all right. Raikou, totally badass. Such a great Pokemon. Suicune, another badass Pokemon. It looks absolutely incredible. I really love going ahead and trying to capture this Pokemon in the Johto games. Ho-Ho looks friggin' amazing. Its shiny is absolutely unbelievably cool. Really dope Pokemon. Lugia, I kind of like it. I like, preferred Ho-Ho over Lugia just because I shiny hunted Ho-Ho. I've not shiny hunted Lugia. Pretty cool, though. I like the film 2000. Pretty nice Pokemon. Red Ice is such a great Pokemon. I absolutely love its cry. You can expect to hear some cries right about now. <laughs> Each of them are pretty nice. Reggie Seal, kind of don't like it as much as what I do. Red Ice and Regirock. I absolutely love Regirock's cry though in the film. <laughs> Latios, absolutely amazing Pokemon. I 100% love its design. I love its role in the films. Latias, I absolutely love as well. I like its shiny. Groudon, all right. Yeah, I like it. I, I wouldn't say he's bad. I like his primal form better though. He looks pretty badass. Kyogre, eh. Could have been a little bit better. Still like its design. I hate its shiny though. Rayquaza, absolutely badass Pokemon. One of my favorite, if not the favorite legendary I have. Just for its shiny form as well. Looks absolutely incredible. Azelf, it's alright. I kind of prefer Mesprit over Azelf. Just because Mesprit was one of the first ones that I captured back in the day. Yuxi, eh, could have been better. Pretty funny. You have the move Fleur Cannon on it. It actually opens its eye. And it's pretty freaking scary. Dialga looks absolutely incredible. Not a too fan of its shiny. But it looks absolutely incredible. It's a normal design. Palkia is one of my favorite out of the uh, Generation 4 trio. Just because it's cry reminds me of something out of Star Wars in the film. I just absolutely love it. Guratina looks absolutely incredible. I love its whole design. How it looks absolutely terrifying. This thing literally comes from the reverse world. Which is absolutely terrifying if you think about it. Cresselia, absolutely adorable Pokemon. I think it's more cute. More than intimidating. It looks pretty nice. Heatran, it's alright. Could have been a little bit better, I guess. But it's not too good, I guess. Rigigigas, again, pretty funny. His cries funny in the film Hooper. Could have been better. I would have liked a better storyline on how to capture the Pokemon. Kabalion, all right. Could have been better. Verizion, absolutely love it. He's shiny form. It's pretty cool. Terrakion, again, absolute badass Pokemon. I prefer it out of the three. He just looks so intimidating. Tornadus is all right. I prefer its Therian form. Landorus, it's all right. I prefer its Therian form. And Thunderous, again, it's all right. But I prefer its theory and form. Zekrom, absolutely insanely scary Pokemon. Reshiram looks absolutely beautiful. Kyurem, one of my favorite ice type Pokemon. He looks absolutely insane. I love the lore behind Kyurem. It's just so incredible. Xerneas was all right. I feel they could have made it a little bit better. Its colors stand out a lot. So I like it. Yveltal, again, could have been better. I feel like the Gen 6 Pokemon could have had a little bit more time. But all in all, they did look pretty cool. I love the lure behind it. Zygarde, absolutely insane. I love the fact that we get a 100% form. And you can now have it shiny this year in 2018. Tapu Koko, he looks pretty dope. I love his hair. He looks pretty funny. Tapu Lele, it's alright. Could have been better. Tapu Bulu, looks pretty interesting. Tapu Fini, super cute. I love it. Cosmo, get back in the bag. Cosmoem, meh. Kind of bad. Ogaleo, looks absolutely intimidating. Lunala, really cool bat. Necrozma, it's normal form. Kind of meh. I like the Dusk Mane and Dawn Wings Necrozma. And Ultra Necrozma is just absolutely disgustingly powerful. I will never beat that game again in Nuzlocke. He looks pretty badass. 100% badass. 
So I guess that is my opinion on all the legendary Pokemon. Some could have been better, and I guess some just look pretty badass. If you guys would like to see another list on all the mythical Pokemon, make sure to leave a like. It is always appreciated. This whole series just counts on your guys' support. So if you want to leave a like, it literally just takes a second and it'll let me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. Make sure to subscribe as well if it's a series that you're interested in. I do, of course, post daily Pokemon content on my channel. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys back in another video next time. Bye!